Hey cat. Hey, you're happy, aren't you, kitty? Puss, puss, puss. What are you doing? Don't you like my stuff over there? Yeah, little cat. Hey. You feel like you're full. I don't think you're hungry. Bit firm there. I don't think you're hungry at all. Feels like you got a full gut. Okay, if you're as well, having a closer look at this uh, motor. You can see that brush is on an angle there. It's only just touching the commutator. That's why I had that dead spot. There's a dead spot there. Yeah, the brush is on an angle there. It's only the corner of it. Melted, that brush uh, holder's melted away, but this one is okay. Might be able to fix that and get some more out of this. Completely pop it, then we'll burn this uh, field winding coil out. That's one bloody tough motor, that's for sure. Okay, for yours, I'll just set a sonic of fluorescent lights. I've got two dead fluoros here waiting torture and destruction. Let's see if we can finish them off. Hmm. Parents are pruning out there and the pneumatic uh, shears. You can hear the pneumatic secretaries go on there. In the background. Let's uh, finish this thing off. Three, two, one. Bad connection to my little uh, alligator clip there. Power off. Let the circuit breaker and that thing cool down. Unplug safety first. Eh, getting warm. That's not very warm at all, but lit up pretty good. We didn't get an arc in there. I have to set my ballast up. Alright. I've got my ballast set up, I'll go again. Ballast is all set up. Got my emergency stop button contact to set up. Contact on. 20 amps of ballast is on. I'm pulling about, about 10 amps now. Oh, I'll have a short between my alligator clips. Power off. Unplug safety first. Let's try the other um, element, the other filament, the other end of the bowl. That one might already be open circuit. Let's try this one. I wonder if this one is open circuit. Hopefully that stays on. Alright, plug it back in. Power on. There we go. The yeah, alligator clips aren't really um, designed for small terminal tabs, so they're just rattling loosely on the um, connections there. Still pulling 10 amps. They're starting to just colour a little bit. Not much though. Unplug the safety first. Yeah, primer is getting a bit too warm doing that. I think 20 amps of ballast is too much of this little tiny mot. That one's way too much of a baby. Alright, let's take the mot out of the circuit and just NST it. Low current, ultra low current, but that'd be a bit of fun. Try this. Let's get an arc in there, shall we? Kinda. Kinda powers uh, fly. Where's my chicken stick? Um, there it is. Let's uh, chicken stick this bad boy. Unplug safety first, otherwise just unplug safety first and doing his experiments. Alright, well, uh, let's plug it back in. Alright, let's see Hold 
Ah, uh, it's got a hole in it. Oh, they ended it, um, light. Look at that, Corona. Oh no, it cracked. Oh, it died. Power off. Unplug safety first. That was not a very bad result at all for an ST. Um, let's pick this up. Find where the crack went. Where did it go? Oh, you got a crack there. It finally vented. Look at that. That's a nice shape of a crack. I was thinking the arc didn't burn a hole in the glass. It just fractured it. That's interesting. Turn that light off. Too much glare. That is interesting. Interesting failure. That one's pretty much had it. Let's uh, try this um, NEC Japan. An older one. Much older uh, fluoro light. No, let's plug everything back in. We'll try again. Okay, no, not, not the um, light. That's a ball effect. That's a ball effect. Can't probably both pick it up, but I've got lightning effect around the um, end of my electrode there. That's just a Corona 30 air on the floor. Yeah, it's not dark enough to see any, um, you can see the electrons dancing inside that um, tube. I shut the power off and unplug safety first. I shut the door and we'll get it darker in here. It'll look better in the dark. So we'll close this door and we'll be able to pick it up better. Oh, let's try on here. And camera light just kicked in. This experiment, I won't need a camera light. Um, there we are. Now you can see things better. Look at that Corona wind, Corona powered uh, floor. You get a similar effect if you stand under big 500 kV um, pylons. You hold this up to it, up in the air above your head, and it'll do this from the Corona from the underneath the power line pylons. Lightning on the floor. Smarty eyes are off, I think. Good ozone generator. An ST powered fluoro. Mm. 
power off, unplug safety first. Best salt water capacitor this thing. Haven't played with those things in a while. Right, salt water capacitor's hooked up, just touching the light. Plug in. Unplug safety first. Let's try another way of hooking this thing up. Um, I'll plug it in the end. I'll put it in series with it. I realize I've got the door open now so I can allow some um, fresh air because this thing can generate a lot of ozone. I don't want to burn in too much ozone. I'll plug this in. And that's loud. I dare I'm doing that. I do get nice more of a spark than an arc, so the salt water capacitor does help a little bit. Helps to reduce the colour. Awesome. Okay. Alright. Power off. Unplug safety first. Uh, I think that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.